I'm Kate Schwenke and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make lactation cookies and if you are a new mom or an experienced mom and you are breastfeeding for the first time or you just need to boost your supply, this recipe is for you. I've had a lot of success with this recipe in my own life and I really wanted to pass it on to you guys if you needed a little help with your supply. If you are new to lactation cookies, they are just a really quick and easy way to quickly boost your supply and it's also super tasty. Now these are oatmeal chocolate chip lactation cookies and this recipe is originally by Noelle Trujillo and I will leave her recipe down below as well as my version of the recipe where I actually cut this in half because I do not need to make that many cookies today but the original recipe yields about four and a half dozen so I'm going to be making two and a half dozen today. So let's get started and here's what you're going to need. So let's go over what you're going to need for this recipe. You will need butter. I like to use the Smart Balance butter. Sugar, brown sugar, some water, flaxseed meal. You will need one egg. You'll need some vanilla extract. You will need flour, baking soda, salt, chocolate chips. You can use any kind you like. I have the Hershey ones here. You will need some oats and some brewer's yeast. Now the top three ingredients that are going to help boost your supply in this recipe are the flaxseed meal, the brewer's yeast powder, and the oats. Now that you've seen what you need, let's get cooking. Set the temperature on your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a small container, add one tablespoon of flaxseed meal and two tablespoons of water. Mix well and set aside for three to five minutes. In a separate bowl, add half a cup of softened butter, half a cup of packed brown sugar, and half a cup of white sugar. Cream together with a hand mixer or a standing mixer. Make sure you have a nice, smooth texture. Next, add one egg and mix well with a hand mixer. Next, get your flaxseed mixture and add it into the butter mixture. Add half a teaspoon of vanilla and mix well with a hand mixer. Add one and a half cups of flour, two tablespoons of brewer's yeast, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt into your sifter. Sift all of the ingredients together into the bowl until your dry ingredients mixture is all in the bowl. Next, gradually add in your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients. Add one and a half cups of oats and add half a cup of chocolate chips or if you want more, add more. <laughs> Mix together well. This is going to be a thick mixture, so just keep that in mind. This is what your dough should look like after you have it all mixed together. Next, scoop the dough onto a lined baking pan and then place the trays into the oven. Set your timer for 12 minutes and definitely check your cookies in between to make sure that they are not getting overcooked. They look great, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out. Place the cookies onto a cooling rack for at least two minutes. Now they are ready to eat. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe while you're here. And if you guys enjoyed this type of video, please let me know in the comment section below and let me know what you'd like to see cooked up next. Thanks for watching.